It has a hundred thousand extinctions to avenge. Scion of the Wild, Ravnica City of Guilds. Hi everyone, and welcome to Extinct Field Guide. It's me, Joseph. In today's video, I wanted to analyze what we know of Ravnica's extinctions, whether we can figure out if Ravnica had a mass extinction event since the signing of the Guild Pact in Zero Zal Concordat, or ZC, what Lazarus species Ravnica might have, whether perceived by the fanbase or directly in the lore, and what species we know of that actually went extinct on Ravnica. Spoilers, not that many surprisingly. All works and images used are in the description of the video, so without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. We are going to begin by at least attempting to figure out if Ravnica is currently in a mass extinction event. Firstly, I want to mention that this part of the video is largely speculative. We don't have enough information to make a full and complete call at the moment, but we can try to make an educated guess based on the information we have been given and plan accordingly. Anyways, with this in mind, there are some assumptions we need to make. Firstly, I am going to assume that Ravnica has a similarly sized planet and biodiversity levels to Earth, leading to a similar background extinction rate. I do think there's a chance that Ravnica is smaller than Earth just based on some references to the districts, but this method at the very least gives us a baseline. Secondly, I am assuming that Scion of the Wild's flavor text only refers to the time since the signing of the Guild Pact, due to that likely being the time since the city's expansion started causing extinctions. This would mean 100,000 extinctions over the course of 10 years, or about 10 per year. There were definitely extinctions that happened before then due to war and other factors, but it's impossible to tell how long that period was, so this simplifies the math a little bit. Linked to that, I'm assuming that Sign of the Wild is not referring to regular background extinctions, due to the connotation of the word avenge in its flavor text. Lastly, I can't make exact assumptions around speciation rate, as it's a bit hard to track, but we can assume it's probably close to the background extinction rate. Just reversed, obviously. Building off of this, I really can't consider Simic shenanigans here, as we don't know how viable these populations become, or how many new species they create, which are also unnaturally coming about, so I don't think it should factor into the regular speciation rate. Okay, with most of the assumptions out of the way, I do need to mention that the next part of the video will have a lot of math that I'm going to summarize very quickly, mostly on screen. If you do not want to listen or see the math, here on screen about now should be a timestamp that should, if you go to it, send you to approximately the end of the math. Firstly, a mass extinction, according to our world in data, involves at least 75% of species go extinct within a relatively, by geological standard, short period of time, typically less than 2 million years. This, combined with the fact that we lose about 10% of species every million years with an approximated speciation rate, means that we would need something about 4.75 times the background extinction rate to even consider the possibility of a mass extinction. Next, what number is the background extinction rate? The general consensus seems to be around 0.1 to 1 species per million per year. So we will use both extremes in our calculations to try to get a good grasp of the data until one is eliminated, as then it wouldn't make sense to continue with that line, but I will try to figure out the highest rate that would allow it. Now, we can make calculations based on various guesses about the range of Scion of the Wild's flavor texts, and assume that the rate is similar in the rest of the biota. Okay, so the first guess line is that the flavor text only refers to approximately the number of described animal species in our world. This is about 2.16 million, which would mean about 0.216 species per year going extinct with the lower estimate and 2.16 per year with the higher estimate. With the lower estimate, we get Ravnica at about 46 times the background rate, which is definitely enough in my opinion to at least consider it being a mass extinction. But the higher bound gives 4.6 times the background rate, 
which is a bit too low. Still an anomaly, I would say, but unlikely a mass extinction. The max background rate for this number is about 0.975 species per million per year. The next possible referred to category is the expected number of animals on our planet, about 7.77 million. The lower bound would give about 0.777 extinctions per year, resulting in Ravnica having a rate about 12.87 times the background rate, which I would think is still a possible mass extinction, just maybe less likely. The maximum background rate here is about 0.271 species per million per year. Next, we have the addition of the expected number of plants, which is about 437,500 at the higher bound of the estimation, making the total number of species to consider about 8,207,500. With the lower bound rate, that is about 0.82075 species per year, resulting in Ravnica having an extinction rate about 12.18 times the maximum rate, which is in a similar boat to the previous category in my opinion. The maximum background rate for this category is about 0.257 species per million per year. The final category I'm going to do math for is the addition of fungi to this count, where there is a range of anywhere from about 2 million to 11 million species here that we expect. Due to the range, I'm going to do the high estimate and the low estimate. With the 2 million species low estimate, we get about 1.02075 species going extinct per year, with Ravnica having about 9.8 times that, which again is a possible mass extinction, in my opinion just a bit less likely, with a maximum background rate of about 0.206 species per million per year. Meanwhile, with the higher bound estimate, we get about 1.92075 species per year, with Ravnica having about 5.206 times that, very close to our limit, which would make the maximum background rate possible about 0.11 species per million per year, which is rather close to the minimum. Finally, to conclude the math part of this video, I just wanted to mention that if Sign of the Wild is including microbes, this is definitely not a mass extinction, as there is expected to be about a trillion species of those, which would blow the number needed here out of the park. It would not be a possible mass extinction if it's counting microbes. Okay, done with most of the math now. So in conclusion for the first part of the video, I think it is definitely possible that Ravnica is in a mass extinction event especially with the lower estimates on what is being counted by Sign of the Wild and the lower background extinction rate estimate. However, what makes this even more surprising is that the one that we are in currently, Paula Ehrlich, I apologize if I mispronounced that name, states is estimated to be about 1,000 times higher than before humans entered the stage. This is much, much higher than even the highest numbers I get for Ravnica. So in a sense, this shows the work that we need to do to save our planet, if the city world has a lower extinction rate than we currently do. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move on to Ravnica's Lazarus species. A Lazarus species is an organism that people generally thought went extinct and were proven wrong. The name comes from the biblical event where Jesus Christ rose his friend Lazarus from the dead. Ravnica has at least one in-universe Lazarus species, the merfolk. These have been thought extinct for a while, based on descriptions given likely around the signing of the Guild Pact, due to the merfolk being aware of guilds, but it is possible that they heard about it through other means and were thought to be extinct even before then. Merfolk showed back up with the opening of the Zonauts sometime before uh, 10,075 ZC, but after the events of the original Ravnica block. The other Lazarus species was more so assumed by fans instead of direct confirmation, so it likely wouldn't have been considered as such in the world of Ravnica. That being the Lamasu. Again, I apologize if I mispronounced that. Due to showing up on one card in Ravnica City of Guilds, where it was hunted, like directly on the card, and then not showing up in the following eight sets focusing on Ravnica, and two other sets that had an amount of Ravnica representation, Magic Origins and March of the Machine, I can see why an extinction here was assumed. But it was wrong, and the Lamasu are still around on Ravnica. Probably still not in a great condition, however I will mention. As of Murders at Karlov Manor, which takes place in about 10,080 ZC. Finally, onto what we actually know is extinct on Ravnica 
which, as I mentioned earlier, is surprisingly not a lot at all. Lazav's cloak is made from some extinct animal, but it isn't stated which one. All we can really assume is that it was large enough for a cloak to be made out of it, and also it had the right biology for that to occur as well. Next, Niv-Mizzet seemed to have wiped out most, if not all, of the great dragons of Ravnica, obviously not including himself, and with his death, that could have made an extinction for the great dragons of Ravnica, if we count that as a species. But then Niv-Mizzet came back as the Guild Pact, so I don't know how to really count that one. The Nephilim might be extinct, as all five known ones are dead, but there could still be more just taking a nap. And that, that's about all we know for Ravnica's extinctions. We can't even really make assumptions based on the wildlife of where Ravnica is based, Eastern Europe, as Ravnica has native orangutans and okapis and still has non-avian dinosaurs and Indricotherium, which is more so referring to the Indric from folklore, but it looks like the Indricotherium. So yeah, that's about what we know and can guess about Ravnica's extinctions. One brief thing before I conclude this video, a goal I have for this year is to get a preview card from Bloomborough, as it's the animal set, and as you have probably been able to tell from effectively every video I've posted on this channel, not all of them, but most of them, I am a bit of an animal nerd. To this end, I am considering making an account on the formerly Bluebird website, and if I do so, I will make a community tab post about it. And I also need to get back into doing those again anyway. Anyways, if you wanted to help me in this endeavor of getting a preview card for Bloomborough through helping this video and others do well, through the standard means, I would greatly appreciate it. This concludes my video on the extinctions of Ravnica and what we can guess about it. What did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments down below. Is there any other planes that you want me to do deep dives on their extinctions? Probably not to the extent of Ravnica here, without that extinction number from Sign of the Wild, but I can at least do something similar with Lazarus species and what we know went extinct. Let me know in the comments down below. And, until next entry, have a great day! Bye!